Okay, so in the last episode, we took a look at uh, cutting this out on the CNC. And what I've decided is to take this now and go over to the 3D printer and 3D print it. So one of the things we have to take a look at is obviously this is now a 2D object in an SVG file. I'll get that straight this time. For some reason in the last video I kept calling this an SVGA, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, so we have this file saved out as an SVG file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here into Tinkercad and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this and um, it's going to take a second to find this. i got to remember where I put it and I've got too many directories. Uh, but anyways, um, I try to put everything under the directory I'm working in, for example, if it's a CNC or 3D printer. Um, however, here we go. So, earbud card mod v1. So, we're going to take this and what we're going to do is import this. Now, one of the things before I start, notice this. So, the settings um, are wrong. And watch when I go to import this. And I've done a video on this in the past, but it's kind of worth bringing back up. It's like, whoa, look at this monster. So, let's bring the ruler out here. And, uh, you know, we see it's 164 by 302. Now, if we go back and we look at Inkscape, if we look at the size, it's 85.63 wide by 46.7 uh, high. So that's what we need to do is actually take these numbers. And if we go uh, here and we copy these out, let's see if this works. And so that's actually the width. And so, whoops, we'll get the width in here. I'm not really overly liking this new Tinkercad interface. All right, so we have that one. And then let's go back and get the other one. And if my mind was younger, I could have probably remembered these, but it's not. So cut and paste is my friend. And so anyways, we'll hit that and then boom. So we now have that to, to size. Now, one of the things, um, the thickness, notice we have it. Let me zoom up here. And here. It's 10 millimeters thick. I'm going to drop this down. Let's see what 5 looks like. Uh, 5 is probably even heavy. I'm going to probably go 3. 3 is a lot better. I like 3. And you see everything is pretty much set here. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print this guy out. So I'll tell you what, let's hop over to a time lapse on the printer, take a look at it being printed out, and then we'll meet back at the bench and we'll see how it works out for us. And we'll compare it to the ones we did on the CNC. So at least now you guys have seen, again, I've done a little bit of a tutorial on this in the past, how to take something from Ink Inkscape and make it 3D. Very simple as you've seen, you just have to remember it likes to import uh, SVGs as pixels rather than um, millimeters. And so that's where you just have to keep your orientation and then come back and use the ruler tool to fix it. So let's head over to the printer. Okay, welcome back. So we've got the ones we did in the last episode here that we cut off the CNC. And we now have the ones that, uh, one that we printed off on the 3D printer. Now, one of the things that I did after I did the importation of the uh, 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 SVG file is I used the text tool in Tinkercad to add sort of my logo on here uh, text-wise. And that came out actually very cool. I am pretty impressed with the new text tool. Uh, this came out really good. Actually, I like this uh, a little bit better than the CNC one. Uh, I think I could probably polish this up, and if I think I did it in acrylic, I could, uh, rather than the polycarb, I could, uh, you know, uh, with the torch, clean up these edges a little bit better. But this just came out beautiful, and with the logo on there, that, that is really nifty. So, um, you know, we can put the headset in here. Now, I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work, is this has a little bit of weirdness because the one is longer than the other, but... Heck, we'll see if we can't make it work. I'm sure that we can figure out a way where there's a will, there's a way, right? And so, uh, wind this up. And just loop it around a few times. And one of the things I discovered is if it doesn't work out perfect, you can just loop it back around like that. And then push it through, like here in the bottom, to hold it. And there we go. So that came out pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm going to throw this up on... Uh, uh, Thingiverse, because I actually like this little indentation here far better. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I was supposed to 
and yeah, that doesn't work. Sometimes the uh, actually, I think I would do up another one. I don't know. We can do it like that, maybe. I don't know. And push this through, something like that. Anyways, it works. Um, but actually, what I'm thinking, I might do up another one in the future that has several of these along the side. So depending upon how long your cord is. But I really like this because one of the things I do is uh, uh, keep a pair of headphones in my jacket pocket. And this makes it very easy to kind of keep it neat and slide it in there. Um, so anyways, hopefully you found uh, this, these builds interesting. And if you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. And uh, again, questions, hit me in the comments below. I'll have the link for this uh, for the STL as well as the SVGA out on Thingiverse. And I'll have the links down below. So see you guys in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe.